In this video, we're going to look at a couple of three-dimensional figures and try to determine where they intersect. So for this particular problem, we're given a line given in component form x, y, z uh, here, expressed this way with a parameter t, and we're given the plane x minus 7y plus 3z equals 15. All right, so this line is given as a vector-valued function, and this plane is just given in terms of x, y, and z not in vector form. So let's first take a look at what the graph of this looks like. So we have um, the line containing these two points. I just picked two points on the line and the plane here. And so we can see, let's see, let's turn this. Well, actually, this is probably the best view, right? We've got a plane and then we've got a line going through that plane. Zoom out a little bit. And so that line is going to intersect that plane in some point right there and we want to figure out the coordinates of that point. All right, well this is a pretty straightforward kind of procedure because we have the variables x, y, and z in our line and we have the variables x, y, and z in our plane. So what we can do is start with our line and express the variables x, y, and z in terms of t. So my x component here is going to be the first component of this vector plus t times the first component of this vector. So 3 plus 4t. All right, my y value is going to be the second component, negative 2 plus t times the second component here. So that would be minus t. And my z value is 6 plus t times negative 2. We'll write it like that. So now that I have x, y, and z um, as they're generated by t, so t is some parameter, I have x, y, and z all expressed in the same variable t, which is going to be great because what I really need to do to solve this is to get an equation with one variable. So what I can do is take my x value and take the t expression for my x value, plug it in there. Take the t expression equivalent to my y value, plug it in there. I think you can see where we're going here. And take this and plug it in for z because we need our plane to satisfy this equation as well. We need our plane to satisfy the equation x minus 7y plus 3z equals 15. All right, so x minus 7y plus 3z equals 15 is my plane. Well, I know x is equivalent to 3 plus 4t. I know y is equivalent to negative 2 minus t, and I know z is equivalent to 6 minus 2t. Now I have one equation with the variable t, and if you're watching this video, then you are well versed at solving these kind of equations. So when we solve this equation, what we're going to get is a value of t. So we're going to have to think about what to do with that value of t and what that value of t means. All right, let's see, we got 35, 17 plus 18, what do we got for our t's? 4, 7 is 11, take away 6 is 5. This is where sometimes I make little mistakes. My adding, that's a terrible place to make a mistake. Subtract 35, divide by, divide by 5, so I get t equals negative 4. So, when t equals negative 4, that's going to generate some point on my line. And I can figure out what that is simply by plugging t, my value of t, back in here into my line. So let's get a different color to do that. So when t equals negative 4, x is going to equal uh, 3 plus 4 times negative 4, so that's negative 16 plus, well, I'll just write it out over here, 3, okay, so that gives me negative 16 plus 3. My y value is going to be negative 2 minus negative 4. That's 2. And my z value is going to be 6 minus 2 times negative 4. That's 14. All right, so I get the point negative 13, 2, 14. We know this point is on our line because we just found that that's the point on our line when t equals t equals negative 4. But is this point on our plane? Well, there's an easy way to check. Let's check. Let's take the equation of the plane 
and plug in x, y, and z and see if it satisfies the equation. So I know the equation of my plane is x minus 7y plus 3z equals 15. Let's see if this equals 15. Cross our fingers here. What's that? 42. So we got negative 27 plus 42. Yep, that equals 15. Awesome. That's a good check. I'm very confident that the answer is negative 13, positive 2, 14. So one of my favorite things to do is to actually plug that into our graph and see that point. That just feels like... Uh, satisfaction here. So I put A equals, here's my point, put that in, bingo, there it is. That's the point where the line and the plane intersect. Very cool. All right, I hope that helps.